and you're probably getting, whoa, what's all this? <laughs> you haven't done UML before. How many people have done UML? I know I just, I, I didn't know. You've done UML? Wow. My God. Many of you guys should be up here and explain UMLs. Everyone has done UML? Oh, no? No bit? All right. Cool. Uh, I'm just giving you a quick example. There's a lot of different diagrams in UML. I'm going to only cover two very quickly. Uh, the use case diagram and the class diagram which I used in, in the exam that I sat anyway. I want the thing that you can rub with. Rub. No, it's not here. Oh, there it is. Sponge. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, idea. Well, that's my stuff. <laughs> I was here for a long time. That's, this is the objective C down here. Let me try this. Let me do it down here quickly. She looks a lot better on this. <laughs> okay, so basically, we've got the problem is to create the application called UniFood. The way I did it, and I'll explain every component of the stuff. We're going to do the first thing is called use case, use case diagram. Now, in the use case diagram, what we do, we've got actors. I don't mean the actors like Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman and all that stuff. The actors are the people that are going to play a role in the application. So, the first one is an actor. And this actor, who's got a big smile, um, he's called the customer. right? So, this customer, what can the customer do? All the stuff that we want the customer to do, right? So, I'm going to use the different slides. I'll just do it in a different slide. So that customer can open an account so every time he's got off at some particular activity he could do, so he can open an account, so he can open an account. Yeah. He can charge up the card, add, he can add something. He can pay for an item. So all the stuff that he could do, he can close the account, yeah? So all these things he can do, these are all the, the activities that that customer can do with the help of the company. Obviously there's a cashier down here. So this is the number actor. So we write all these actors out and the whole thing so it's clear in our minds. So this is the basic diagram. And we say this, this uh, cashier can help him with open the accounts, can help him with like, adding to his balance. But he can't do it himself, he needs assistance. So we start linking it up like that. So we just draw a quick diagram like that, and then after that, after we've created that use case, all the different use cases, we start drawing the objects that we're going to need. Now, to make it easier, I've actually done it in the next slide, so we can actually have a look at that. Okay, now, let's look at that. The text is not appearing in here, right? So we're going to have to. There's supposed to be text here, which is okay. At least we've got the diagrams. If you can see that, that's pretty much this the UML for the class diagram. But there's some text here which I'm going to read out instead of. So, first thing, the, the name of the, the class is called wallet. And inside the, uh, the wallet class, we have these properties we've got customer name, we've got balance, we've got student discount. Because if, if it's a discount, then it, we would need to. Do that, you know, apply a student discount, and these are the different functions. The minus basically means private, it's a private property, and the plus means it's public, so it's a public method. So these are all the methods, these are all the properties, and this is the name of the class. Very simple. No, the, the protected is like that. Actually, let's take this off. The protected is like the hash. That's the protected. Minus is uh, private. And the plus is, like I said, public. Yeah? So um, I'm going to read it because it's not actually on the, on the screen. What we're actually asked to do. Right. That's. That's the slide's supposed to look like that. There's supposed to be some text on the sign. 
So it says here, uh, UniFood has requested we implement a simple application that would set up a new uh, UniGrub wallet account. The main function of the program is to allow the customer to set up a new wallet, um, add to the wallet, pay for goods, check the current balance, confirm the status of the customer to confirm, which I've got it here, confirm if he's a student or non-student, so you can know what to charge him, and of course to close the account. So these are the the functions of that object. Yeah? Good?